Spring also marks prom season for high school students. And while it's always a night to remember, it can also cost a pretty penny to attend. Tonight, the Police Athletic League is lending a helping hand. Action News reporter Bob Brooks has the story now from Prom Boutique. Say it one more time. Yes to the dress. They were smiling. Everyone at the Cozen Powell Center in Francisville was. That's because this is a story that makes you do so. Hundreds of Philadelphia girls tonight became prom ready. Thanks to the Philadelphia Police Athletic League, Cozen O'Connor Law Firm, and a few other special individuals, the prom dress giveaway became the norm 14 years ago. It started with Francisville Institution, Michelle T.T. Ruffin. We kept seeing it on television where they were going to other neighborhoods and doing a dress giveaway. I said, well, we need to have that in Francisville. So she got on the horn with Nancy Roundbeller over at Cozen O'Connor, and they got to work. But they needed help, so... I contacted the Archdiocese, and they gave me information about Linda Wirt, who was with Archbishop Carroll at the time, had already collected dresses, and we started an event here. It's really special. It really makes me feel like I've done something decent, you know, to help some people out. This event is more than special. It's life-changing. I was a less fortunate teen. I really didn't have family. Sherry Waters got the first prom dress from this event all those years ago. She says as a young lady, feeling confident at prom was everything. Dressing up is what women do, what young ladies do. So when you're able to look the part and feel the part, it gives you a boost of confidence. Now, I'll tell you what, they're not just getting their dresses here today. They're getting everything they need for prom, shoes to handbags when they walk out of this PAL Center. They're going to be all set. Tonight, Captain Michael O'Donnell also had some words of wisdom for these ladies' dates. You got to treat your ladies with respect, and they need to get themselves correct and get, get a nice suit because our girls are going to be coming here leaving very uh, nice and beautiful dresses. And after all this, we know they're going to look stunning. But once their big night is over, TT has her own advice for these young women. Keep reaching for the stars and go beyond. Reporting in Francisville, Bob Brooks, Fraction News at 10 on PHL 17.